All right, guys, it's morning time. Time to unravel from our cocoon. I don't remember doing that. We didn't. I just thought it'd be fun, but I guess it wasn't, according to you guys. What? Freddy, I love your ideas. Like that time you thought I should be shoved in the oven. Okay, that one I didn't like, but the other ones were okay. I didn't go to anger management therapy that day. So, what do you guys want to do today? I don't know. I mean, we just kind of got over, you know, the apocalypse and stuff, so, uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, kind of not interested to do much. Are you saying you don't want to do anything today, Foxy? Yeah. In fact, I'm just kind of cool just sitting here. <sighs> okay, Bonnie, let's go do a cordial activity so you stop almost puking. <sighs> So, uh, Golden Freddy, you want to spend some quality brother time? All right, what do you want to do? Oh, you know what time it is. I've been waiting for this f***ing day! Oh, yes, Golden Fredgeman the 13th. Would you like some more tea? Why, oh, why, oh, why, yes, Freddy, that would be delicious. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh, oh. You two are morons. Well, I know who we're not inviting to our tea party. <laughs> Okay, okay, Bonnie, okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're in a different place now. Yes, the last time we didn't do anything and you puked all over the floor, it took Foxy like five hours to clean it. Vacuum carpet cleaner is expensive. It's a condition, okay? Yeah, 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 whatever. So, uh, what did you think about doing? I don't know, I'm just here with you. It's a Chica and Bonnie adventure. Hmm, how about we go to the far off regions of, uh, the, 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 the islands. The islands. Yes, the islands. And, uh, what exactly is there on the islands? Coconut. Okay, clearly your brain's not working. Um... Hey. Huh? When's the last time we cleaned out the closet? Cleaning? But that's boring! You can make it fun, you know? You can make anything fun as long as you put some elbow grease into it. Chica girl, I'm level with you. I don't think we got elbows. These are just kind of stubs. Fine, elbow grease, stub grease. I'm just reading it from the saying. I'm just saying, let's, let's clean the closet. Uh, it's something. Uh, I'd rather do that than pretend to throw up for 30 more minutes. I thought you said it was a condition. Shut up! I'm cleaning the closet! All right, let's clean this closet. Uh... I don't remember our closet being perpetually never-ending void. Uh... Maybe we just have a bigger closet than we remembered? I don't know about all that. Come on, I'm sure it's fine. Here, if we can't see this when we throw it in, then we'll turn back. Did it just move like an organism? Come on, Bonnie, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's sure it's fine. No, I don't like this. Come on, Bonnie, it's fine. No, Chica, no, I said no, stop, stop, I don't want to go in the void. No! Well, it's certainly a closet. Yeah, the carpet's not even the same color, it's all red. I don't like this. Can we leave, Chica? Yeah, you're right. Maybe this is a bad idea. Let's just... Find the door? Uh... We've been in here for like 15 seconds and we already can't find the exit! C calm down, Bonnie. Uh, let me see if I have a light. Ah, my flashlight. Let's just look around for an exit and maybe we'll find some fun little things on the way. Wait, wait, Chica! What is it, Bonnie? Ow, my retinas. Well, t today, Junior. I, I I don't remember. Come on. Oh, my pupils are dilating. Ah, oh, they're getting adjusted to the darkness again. Chica, Chica, where'd you go? Oh, look, some old boxes and baskets and other things. I wonder what's in here. Uh, not a whole lot. Oh, look, an old book of Pokemon cards. Maybe we'll have one of those super rare ones that people talk about and sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars online. Who would buy a piece of cardboard for that much money? People that have too much of it. Damn straight, sister. Is this a hundred white envelopes? Whee! That was fun. I feel accomplished. Bonnie, the objective here was to make, clean the closet and not make a bigger mess. I'll pick it up later. Hmm, what other new stuff is in this wacky place? <gasps> Chica, it's, it's, it's my gun! Actually, Bonnie, that was Foxy's gun. You just used it that one time. 
I wonder if it still has those bullet things in it. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, it does. Jesus Christ, Bonnie, put the gun down. How about I do the looking? <gasps> oh my god! I haven't worn these things in ages! Last time I wore these was prom. Oh, those are the old days. Dang, they're a little big on me now. Just these things just don't fit anymore. Did they ever fit? L listen, I, I lost a lot of weight. And yet you're still the biggest chicken in the house. Says you! You're technically the biggest bunny! Shut up! Ugh, this has just turned sour. Well, we did the exact opposite of what our objective was. Great. Yeah, now I'm bored of these envelopes. What if I can make a house of them, like, with cards? <sighs> Guess we should get to finding that exit. Right, oh, Bonnie? Uh, ah! <laughs> Dang it, chick! I was just getting to the good part! Stop messing with the stupid envelopes and let's go! You're so mean! <sighs> Uh, Chica, do you see that? See what? I might throw up again, but for real this time? Oh my god, that's, that's disgusting. <sighs> okay, okay, so we'll just get somebody to clean it up when we get out of here. Let's just find the exit, Bonnie. Hey, hey man, hey, hey, what's going on? Mr. Mouse talking. Hey man, yeah, I've been using this place as my living space. It's been pretty great. Dead things can't talk. They taught me that in school. Stop talking. Yeah, you're right. Dead things can't talk, but I can. And you know what that means? Uh, you're inside my head? Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to say, like, uh, thanks for letting me live in here, bro. It'd be real shame if you came in through cleaning people and uh, killed me and took me into uh, putting me in a plastic bag or something. Uh, I'm still gonna do that. Ah, school you, man. You suck. Mm. I'm gonna do angry things and make you see psychedelics. Ah! The, whoa! Oh my god! Those are a lot of colors. Bonnie, what are you doing? What are you talking to? The mouse is making me see colors and he said you didn't like me. Oh my god, just come on, you idiot. Ah. Bonnie, wait! Don't forget to change the carbon monoxide detectors in your house! The batteries could die and you might die! Noble Steed, you will seize my brother's anguish. For stealing the legendary tea, our ancestors had decided to protect it all those years ago. Those manuscripts had titled, they had wanted to age it for hundreds of years. And it has been 999 years since they said that. So, when it goes to the thousandth year, you know, it's, it, it's not gonna matter anymore. You know they were being metaphorical, you bastard. But, well, I don't care, because my dragon is cooler than your stupid sword. Then die. Yeah! You may have defeated me in battle, but you'll never take my dignity. Oh no, actually, you signed that away to me like four years ago. Damn it! Ugh. Yay, I won! You know, that actually wasn't that bad. It was kind of cool, actually, to watch. Ha! Huh. And you were the one that called us morons. I'm still kind of pissed you got the cool big dragon and I got this stupid little pink thing. Well, we have to use it. It's the only other monster we have, and besides, it stores all our accessories. See? I guess you're right. Heck, you could have rode into battle Trojan horse style, and maybe the dragon wouldn't have thought it was food or something. Then he would have just eaten me. True, but it would have been cool. Where are Chica and Bonnie? I haven't heard from them in a while. I don't know. I thought I would have heard them say something about going into the closet. The closet's like a foot deep. It can't be that interesting. Well, let's go see what they're taking their time on then. All right. Uh, Freddy, you clean this up. You know, I feel like this is already said by one of the two of them, but I don't remember our closet being an endless void. Yeah. And you're sure they went in there willingly and didn't just get eaten by some giant monster? Maybe this is the new big bad of the season. There's no way we're introducing the main villain in episode one. Guys, can we just, like, go see what's in there? Uh, I guess? If we all die right after we almost all died in the apocalypse and it's this lame... Your fault, Golden Freddy. Yeah, we're blaming this on you, mister. I'm so thrilled of the warm welcome. Ugh, food, water, atmosphere. Bonnie, we've only been in this closet for like half an hour. It's felt like an eternity. I'm sure we'll find the exit soon. Chica, the fact that we haven't found an exit yet means we're probably going deeper into whatever the hell this is, not closer out of it. 
That's a very good point, actually. Ugh, not only the fact that I'm, like, tired of being in here, it's not even interesting. I feel like we haven't seen a box or a knick-knack in, like, ten minutes. Yeah, we have been doing a whole lot of walking for a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I wish there was just something that resembled anything. What the hell is that? Is that... a statue? Of... me? Well, that's oddly flattering. <laughs> well, shucks. What the heck is this doing down here? And furthermore, why is it so far in the back of the closet? Oh, shit! No, no, no! Oh, no, oh, my battery's dead! Great. Now we're never gonna get out of here. Well, time to start eating the cockroaches on the floor. Uh, Bonnie? What? Where did the statue go? Uh, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely not here, though. Why would it not be there? Again, I don't have any clue. Oh, no. Knowing how creepy and weird and ambiguously it looked like me, maybe it's, like, haunted or something. You could calm down. The statue's probably not haunted. It's a statue. Why would a ghost want to haunt it? Why don't they want to haunt, like, a doll with moving parts, you know? Statues don't have moving parts. They're just stagnant, lifeless creatures that don't do it. <laughs> Bonnie? Sorry. Oh, ow, my head. Ugh. What the heck was that for? You scared me! If you're alive and you want help or something, you don't just hide and then reappear like a ghost would in a scary movie. That's how you scare someone and make them not help you. I don't know. You guys scared me. I haven't heard voices in a really long time. It's been like, like probably centuries. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry to hear about that. So why are you in our closet? Oh, well... I've been back here for as long as I can remember. Really? How so? Oh, it, it, I don't know, just th as far back as I can remember, I have been in this closet. That's what somebody who wasn't doing that would say. I don't know what I'm trying to come to here. Yeah, me neither. So, uh, do you know how to get out of here? Sister, if I knew how to get out of here, I would have left a long time ago. But no, I have just been stuck in this stupid closet for... Forever, it seems. At least I have company now. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but me and Bonnie aren't statues. We'll probably starve and decompose and die within, like, a couple months. Oh, well, at least we have a couple months of fun together. No, 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 that's, like, the decomposing and dying part. Like, we'll die in probably a week. <sighs> Trust me, I'm not too happy about it either. Great. I'm never gonna get out of here. Oh, well, don't say that. Literally, you're the only two people I ever have seen in here, and you don't know how to get out of here either. Yeah, what the heck is this closet anyway? Why is it so deep? Why is it so dark? You know, I think people have said that about a lot of things. Yeah, it's so bullshit. Right? <sighs> hey, can I ask you a personal question since we're just kind of here and we have nothing better to do? Sure, random person I just met. Anything. Have you ever felt like you were meant for something, but you didn't quite know what it was. Like, you had a purpose, you had a symbol, you meant to stand for something, you know? And, and I don't know, it just felt like you never really quite lived up to that potential, yet you can't do anything about it to even try. At all? No, never in my life. I felt perfectly fine where I am pretty much all my life. Hmm. Do you think the rabbit guy knows anything about that? I don't think Bonnie knows where he is at all half the time. <sighs> do you hear footsteps? Yeah, I do. Oh, God, this is really hard when you don't have good death perception. Why did you guys make me lead? The dark really scares me, so I didn't really want to do it. I thought it'd be funny. Screw you too, Freddy. God. Foxy, is that you? Chica! Oh my god! I didn't think we'd find you! What is the estate on this house? This closet is huge! Oh, it's so good to see you! And a blue doppelganger! Wait, what? Oh, hi there, stranger! Oh, three more kind souls have come to save me. Do you guys know how to get out of here? Oh, yeah, actually we do. 
I've been leaving behind little breadcrumbs uh, just to follow back, kind of like Hansel and Gretel. Uh, Golden Freddy? What? I thought those were trademark Freddy snacks, so I kind of ate them all. Mm-hmm. Freddy, you aren't usually this dumb! I know, and that's why I'm mad! Great, guess we're all stuck in here. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Oh, my God! The back of my head feels like it's gonna blow up. <sighs> hi, Blue Chica. Hi, Rabbit. Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself. My name's Bonnie. I'm Foxy. I'm Freddy. I'm Golden Freddy. And, uh, I'm Chica. I don't know if you picked up on that. Well, I'd tell you what my name was, but, uh, I don't really know my name. Maybe your name is what sign you're holding. You know, to tell people who you are. Oh, <gasps> really? Oh, I don't have elbows, so I've never really been able to see what it says. What does it say? Uh... July of Medicisly... I think. Uh, Freddy, I think that's Roman numerals for July 4th, 1776. Uh, uh, are you Roman all of a sudden, Foxy? No, I just... I, I know IV is a Roman numeral, so I just assume that's what the rest of it is. Uh, you can't just adopt Roman culture like that, bro. Are you suggesting I'm culturally appropriating the Romans? Maybe she's Roman because it's in her language. Freddy, they're Roman numerals. They're supposed to stand for numbers. And now you're suggesting binary code isn't a valid language option? If starvation doesn't kill you in this closet, I'm going to. <sighs> Listen, I know things seem bleak right now, but listen, it'll get better. Anybody got any bright ideas on how to get out of here? Hmm. Well, I've never tried this before, but I could try and teleport everyone out of here. Really? You'd do that? Yeah, of course. I just don't know if I can do that. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, you know, just your whole molecular structure could decompose and recompose in a completely incorrect format, and you just end up a pile of goop on the ground. Your insideies become your outsideies. Yeah, I like those odds. I don't! Would you rather sit in here and starve? I mean, not really. Listen, Freddy, if you die this way, at least we'll be quick and painless. Really? Give or take the painless part. It might be extremely painful. Yeah, well, it's probably still better than starving. All right, everyone, link hands together like you're one of those around-the-world images. Ooh, I've always wanted to do this! All right, everyone stubs together? Yeah, I think so. All right. One, two, three! Oh, uh, what? Hey, we did it! Success! Uh, I feel like my heart is where my kidney's supposed to be. Moderate success, but you know what? We're all alive and that's all that counts. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Now that I'm looking at her better, I think I remember seeing her in one of my ancestor family scrapbooks. Wait, we have that? Yeah, my grandpappy sat it down and we read through it together. Well, do you think you have that book on you? Yeah, I think it's in the second cabinet to the left. Hang on, let me go check. Uh, here it is! Ugh. Oh, let me just I'll flip through this book. <gasps> Here's the page! Wait, l let me see! Oh my god, I think that is me! Here, let me read. Oh yeah, I remember this now. What is it? Okay, so basically in the ye old age of 1776, my great 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 those British guys, they, uh, they didn't like that he lived where he lived, and he was like, I want to live here, and then they were like, you can't because you don't own this. Well, I do now, so he declared independence. It was on this day. I don't know why it's in Roman numerals, because we don't speak Roman. He saved his whole town from the potential disasters of whatever that was. So they built a statue in his honor, and that's you. A statue? Really? Oh, gosh, I never had any idea. So, you've just been sitting in that closet since 1776. Well, maybe not since exactly that point, but I guess. Oh, I wonder why they just stored you in a closet. Maybe one day they took it down and just kind of stuffed them in there. Oh, gosh. Well, where do I go now? What do you mean? Well, Chica, you know how I was talking about all that stuff about how I felt like I had a purpose and once lost it, and, you know, and you wanted to find it again? Well, I feel like I have now. I just don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm, I don't know. It does say you are named Liberty Chica. I don't know if that means anything. Wait, why did he name a statue after me? What the- Hmm, I mean, it's not like we could just 
take the current Statue of Liberty in America and just kind of knock it down and put you there. You know, Foxy, you actually have a pretty good idea. Wait, I do? One road trip later. All right, let's dust off the spot. All right, I think you go right there. Oh, oh my God, I can't thank you guys enough for this, seriously. Eh, don't mention it. All for a friend in need. Yeah, I'm happy you managed to find your purpose, Chica. Yeah, oh my God, I, I just can't believe I'm gonna be, you know, admired and loved by so many people. Yeah, maybe we'll even come visit sometime. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> well, we should probably head back to, you know, Fazbear Hills where we live and stuff. So, uh, see you around. Bye, guys. Man, I can't believe we drove all the way to New York City just for this. Yeah, I know. Time flies. You guys sure people aren't gonna notice? Um... Probably not. Who wants to go to M&M &M World? I do!